In today's video, we're taking a look at Atio. It's a CRM tool and we're gonna explore everything in this tutorial. This together is a partnership with Atio to explore the application or work out whether it's right for you. So acting as a beginner's guide to really help understand this powerful software. So we're gonna start and explore the email and calendar integration to begin with. Okie dokie, so here we are with Atio. And as you can see, it's quite a clean and simple user interface. So let's look at the email calendar sync and data enrichment. Now essentially, you can instantly sync the email and calendar events that are connected to the email account that you have. Now this is great because it will set you up with the CRM in pretty much no time. There is also an importability in case you have existing CRM tools that you use or data that you already have. And essentially from here, you can use this new area for the records to essentially organize your entire structure. So you can organize how you like it. So from sorting and filtering capabilities as well, which will help you to create the perfect view for you. You can literally choose every single and column where they land and how they operate. There's even calculation functions at the bottom to help you understand the numeric elements of this and you can add columns too. So the benefit with AI that comes into here is whenever you add a column, you can essentially have automatic enrichment. So this connects with sites like Clearbit, Crunchbase, and Full Contact, which are incredibly popular APIs, which will connect with well-known applications to essentially pre-fill all of these attributes. So you can instantly get things like what their headcount is, employee count, revenue, or maybe even insight in your customers, as well as access to information through those providers, which is great because you're looking to save a lot of time when using a CRM. Now, the second feature that I want to point towards is the object model. This gives you more flexibility to adapt to how you do business. So essentially, these are custom objects or custom attributes. Now, these custom attributes are a great way to build what structure best suits you. So for example, even though you've got companies and those elements, you can narrow this down as well and make objects that are best suited to your needs. So you can narrow this down in the object builder and really create something that best works for you. So for example, if you wanted to create a custom object for partnerships and be able to have that actively as a object, you can build it inside of settings. You can add as many objects as you want and help narrow them down. So if you want to be able to go a little bit further, there's actually a feature called workflows. Now workflows can be really, really helpful if you're somebody that wants to run things in the background and use the power of AI agents. So they can do a lot of different things. So for example, here you can uh, use it, and this is a very basic example, to automate actions for helping getting to insights. So for example, I created this one to essentially create some background on each company that I created. So the workflow will be triggered when a new company record is created and will automatically uh, bring together staff count, CEO and identity, and whether they're SOC compliant, which can help you to really manage them out. But you can go pretty insane with the uh, research agent here. And you can even do things like be able to generate in-depth summaries from the data, and, and you can also send this information automatically across your uh, stack, like with Slack, and you can really build these out. So you can basically build these statements with the integrations platform, where, whether you wanna connect up Mixmatch or whatever it may be, you can create an if else statement to send a sequence of emails based on those entries and when those customers come in. So that's incredibly valuable for building like an automated system that just runs in the background for you and your company. So the next thing that uh, I know very well is being able to use AI note-taking. And AI note-taking can be an incredibly valuable system to managing how you have conversations. So if you're looking for a way to transcribe your meetings, then you can use Atio for just that. So there's a feature in it called Call Intelligence, and it will help you to essentially automate the meeting insights and bring together all of the calls, emails, and interactions that you have with a particular person. You can also see when people chatted in the meeting and what the exact transcript is, 
which can be a great way to pull together all that real-time information so you and your, your team are pretty much on the same page from all of the context points, whether that's a recording summary or insights, and it's available uh, for all of your records, which is helpful. So this, again, is another great way to enhance how you're using AI in your workflow. Next up is a feature called Sequences. It lives pretty close to workflows, um, but sequences essentially allow you to create knock-on effects, simple step-by-step -step processes. And you can create sequences with delivery in mind, so you can send it in certain uh, windows of time, see how campaigns run automatically, as well as having all of this smart AI stuff in there as well, like an AI composer to help personalize the email that really improves your prospect data, well, brings together your prospect data and really makes it understandable. It also will use, for example, exit triggers, so automatically knows when to stop it based on a reply. So if a, uh, a client or somebody comes in and says, okay, we'll buy, then it won't keep hammering out the emails, which will be a, p a bit of a pain, won't it? So this one also has out of office detection and delegated sending as well. So you can enable team members to manage sequences. Finally, there's reporting. Now reporting are essentially a great way to build out dashboards. These dashboards can give you insight from a range of different situations. For example, you can use dashboards to manage uh, your customer ARR, or maybe even where the locations are and use a map data to be able to bring all of that in. There's also great ways to customize this with live data as well. And you can also bring together visualizations so you and your team can literally throw this up in person, say your hybrid or your in-person or even on a video call. You can throw this up and then be able to see all of the insights without having to worry too much. And there's not much education you need to be able to basically build one of these quite fast. You can create it all the way from a funnel, narrow down the, the attributes, as well as just create it so that you can see everything coming through the funnel and base it on a certain amount of uh, filters or attributes that already exist. So incredibly helpful. So that's Atio as a big picture. It's a CRM tool that wants to help you to manage your day, but save you time using AI. Because what it's gonna do is do the small, uh, really painful tasks in the background for you to help you optimize your work and get the things done, move the deals forward. So that is Atio. You can find the link in the description if you're interested and a guide and tutorial on a little bit more about it. Uh, which I'm sure was helpful. So do make sure to subscribe and I will see you all very soon in a future video, I'm sure. Cheerio for now.